it's Steph. Hi guys, it's Mario from Speedy Fit here and we had a few really busy months but now we're back in the studio and we're gonna bring you a very special video today because we have a major announcement. We actually have someone new joining us at Speedy Fit, so it's, that's Harry the intern. Come on Harry. Hello. Hello, good to see you. Thank you for, uh, for being here today. Thank Your you very first, much. first day. Yeah. So um, how well are you at, how good are you at riding unicycles? Never ridden one before. Not ever, never, and uh, I'm slightly nervous, but excited to find out how it goes. Ian learned how to ride a wheel way back in the day. I learned a few years ago, my wife learned last year, and now it's Harry's turn. Mm. So let's, let's see some of the clips from the past just for, uh, for good old days. Right, apparently, how hard can this be? <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Whoa, it turns like that. Yeah, so that's how you turn. It's all about balance. There we go. Let's get moving. Come on, moving. Come on, moving. There we go. I'm, I'm on a roll. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Nice so Harry, what's your estimate? How long will it take to actually ride a wheel? To be honest, Mario, I really haven't a clue. I think we're just gonna have to get out there and uh, and find out. Okay. Well, I think that's a good idea. Let's do it. Let's go. So lesson number one um, is you have your handle here, but you don't wanna lift the wheel because if you lift it up, it starts accelerating yeah. and it cuts off. If it's accelerating, if you just if you drop it down straight away, mm. the because of the acceleration, then the wheel might go forward or backward, so you can injure yourself, or most likely you can burn your carpet, mm. uh, or your or just make a nasty mark on your floor. So if it's if the wheel is accelerating, just let it finish its acceleration, and then you drop it down safely. And then you have your foot plates. Some people call them pedals; mm. they're wrong. <laughs> this is foot plate. So what I do is. Um, I put, because my uh, right foot is my is dominant, so I, I usually put my right foot there. Mm. So you want to keep keep your right foot as close to the chassis of the machine as possible. Sure. And then the other thing is, you you also want to keep it at a slight angle, because if it's if it's straight, um, if you if you want to put your other foot, you're gonna fall over. Mm. But if it's straight, that gives you a second to to put your foot back on there. Okay. And then the next thing that I would do is have the wheel and then just move it yeah. uh, forward and backwards just so you get a sense how it actually moves because it's all pressure. So as long as you put pressure at the front, you go to the front, you go yeah. forward. If you put pressure to the back, you, you stop and then you can r even ride backwards. I can use the wall for some help. Um, and now I'm, I'm on the wheel. It basically, you, it's really difficult to stay still. Uh, because you, you have to like move backwards and forwards to actually activate the gyroscope and the motor that keep you upright. So you, you need a little bit of speed to go. Um, <clears throat> and ideally you don't want to be holding the wall because then you'll learn how to ride with a wall and that's not helpful. Mm. So that wobble is exactly what I had to start with. Okay. So I don't know if I say one of the most common yeah. things is people get on it, they do this, they go whoa like that. And it's all it is, your body's going, you're gonna fall. Yeah. So then you lean back and the wheel goes, as you lean forward, the wheel's going, oh you wanna go forward? Yeah. Your body's going, you're gonna fall over, so you lean back, then the wheel goes, oh you wanna go backwards. Yeah. So you end up with this constant. It's kinda of like doo -doo -doo. Yeah, and you've got that wobbly thing going on yeah. as well. So much more helpful than the wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just in terms of like you stabilizing it, and then you kind of yeah. get used to the way that the balancing bit works. Yeah, and it also if, if you stay up upright, that also helps. Oh, the other thing that, that you can do is what I would do is, is when you have one foot and you just, like a skateboard, you just push it, uh. push it along.
and Ooh. it can get a bit dangerous. Yeah, we'll just start spinning and flipping out. Yeah. Right. But you want to keep keep this foot like as stationary as possible. Right. Yeah. yeah. It, it it will you will feel some pressure on your uh, here on your shin. Yeah. Uh, but at least you'll get a bit of a a bit of a sense of just moving around be, without having to like keep your balance too much. <laughs> I think I've not quite nailed the like slowing down. Uh, make sure that your your feet are identical on the foot plate because that will help as well. Hopefully this will will survive. <laughs> if you're stood up, it you can you can really balance. Mm. And then there is a minimum amount of speed that you need to actually balance, which I think it's so like this is a bit too too slow. But then this it's a bit easier to balance and then this is no problem balancing. Yeah. So that that's your that's your difference. Like this is probably if like I, I have to do this otherwise I'm gonna fall. Yeah. Because it's the way too slow. But now the motor engages. So I don't don't need to do much. And now it's it's fully on. Here we are, out in the uh, in the car park, done some falling over in the corridor and we're going to practice in this lovely area we've got here. Um, so, let's give it a shot. Well, there we go, had some lunch, good old BLT, uh, and ready to give it a shot. I feel pretty confident after, before lunch, uh, so hopefully we can get going without crashing. Wish me luck. <laughs> what a start. But, uh, there we go. Stand up straight. Uh, it's funny how much of a difference that yeah. makes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's ridiculous how much of a difference that makes. And then if you want to take the turn. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. See, look, you do, you're so right. Where your foot goes yeah. makes a massive. So I'm wobbling all over the place. Yeah. It's because my foot wasn't in the... Yeah, point them, point them in. Point them in. Yeah. But then the thing is, you try and, once you're going, you try and get your foot in the right place. So, here's an example. If I don't put my left foot on properly when I push up, I'm going to be wobbly all over the place. I mean, granted, I might be wobbly anyway, but just specifically like this. So, here we go. Okay, that was, that was a good left foot place. That corner, man. Those three corners, they're so hard. I, I, I think it's a mistake to catch to catch the to corner. Catch the wall. Yeah, because that, that throws you off. If you catch the wall, then you, you transfer, I think, some of the movement, like the angle of your movement. Yeah, then it knocks me off the side. Uh, yeah, and then, you, and then you end up falling, just like yeah, in the previous just like corner. Then. And the previous time, and the time before that. <laughs> yeah. 
So if you just, just take take like really wide turns. Yeah. Hey guys, it's taken me three hours to get this and I think I've finally got my head around it. There's some things I think I've definitely learned through the process. So first thing is to trust the tech. Like this thing's not gonna let you down, it's gonna do what you want it to do. And if you have some confidence, you're gonna be absolutely fine. The second thing is to trust the experts. Mario's a great teacher, Ian's been a great teacher. There's lots of other YouTubers out there that's gonna help you to learn how to use this thing. And once you do learn, it's brilliant. So that's the second thing is to learn to trust the people, the experts. Experts. And the final third thing, it is not impossible. It is definitely not impossible. You can certainly do it. So get on and have it a go. Back in the studio, uh, we're cool. uh, crash crash dummy, Harry. Sorry, employee, Harry. <laughs> so how was it? I feel good. I feel good. I feel like at the end there, I got it. I feel like I got the hang of it a little bit. Um, and as we're saying, those three things, you know, trusting the machine that's going to kind of work, trusting you guys. You're a good teacher, Mary. Thank, thank you. Very you. Much. Thank you very much. Uh, and then obviously not giving up, you know, I'm sure there's moments earlier today where I thought, you know, I don't think this is actually possible. Mm. Um, most of the time, just after I've crashed. Uh, but actually, you know what, you're kind of getting up and doing it again. And I feel like um, you do that enough times and you get the hang of it, which is really good. Um, so yeah, so it took me three hours in the end. Yeah. Ava took five minutes. Yeah. Uh, Ian took three or four. Yeah. Um, and it took me three hours. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. But I mean, what matters is that now you can write. Absolutely. Uh, and you've mastered the nine bot one. Mm. Uh, and now we need to get you on the Monster Pro. Oh, that's, come that's on. A, that's a different kind of beast. Bring it on. Bring it on. I'm looking forward to doing some off roading, uh, doing some stuff outside. It should be really fun. Um, but yeah, I'm really feeling really uh, yeah really happy that I've managed to get through the first one. So that's it, guys. Subscribe because there'll be some really fun videos. Because we're expecting the uh, Abrams, we're expecting the Master in, which are going to be some really cool wheels. And we have we have a new new person to try them as well as Ian, so we can have that uh, difference of opinion of someone who's been riding for years and someone who is new to the unicycle world. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, definitely stay tuned in and. Hopefully, Harry doesn't uh, break break anything during the, the, the testing. Fingers crossed, I don't break any bones. Uh, I'm so excited, I'm so happy that I managed to film and uh, get get learned on the first one and I'm looking forward to trying out the new models. Yeah. Thanks Mario for giving me some help. Um, and yeah. it's, oh, it's five o'clock, oh, we need to go. We're not paid for this anymore, so we need to go. Peace out. Bye. See you guys, bye.